Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Uh, last time we took on some heretics, did some cool stuff. Uh, we are in this bar now that we just happened upon because I'm bad at exploring the game. And now we have a ton of people to talk to. I think for now... I don't remember exactly who I have to talk to, actually. No, I'm thinking about... It. Oh, Gordy St Stock... Statov. Yeah, we're going to start with him. <laughs> uh, the flabby man in the worn, worn clothes is slightly... Sighing sadly over a glass of murky booze. Only when he looks up at you do you notice his eyes. Large, piercing, and full of sh sorrow. A stark contrast to his unkempt appearance. Could it be that someone actually wishes to keep me company? You know what? No. <laughs> just leave conversation. Uh, he takes a closer look at you. Not just someone, it's Lord Von Valencius himself. Uh, yours is an ancient and glorious line, your lordship. A member of a magnif magnificent... B magnificent? Structures built in your ancestors' orders, uh, both for defensive and decorative purposes, remain in the Sacrus Sector. Uh, they keep your dynasty's memory alive, despite the fact that it has long since focused its endeavors in a different sector. Avalard stares at you with surprise and respect. I'll be. Even I was unaware of such details, and I have spent quite some time studying the chronicles of your noble bloodline. Allow me to introduce your, myself. Gordy... Skatov Architectural Historian You look deeply despondent over something. What happened? I may take my leave. Good luck. <laughs> uh, he sighs heavily. Uh, here I go again, pouring my heart out to have you disappear in ten minutes just like everyone else before you. But, alright. Here's the story of Gordy. The unluckiest historian in the Imperium. I was born two sectors away from here. My family was quite influential, which allowed me to dedicate myself to a, my great passion, the history of the Imperium architecture. I spent a number of years studying every scholarly work there was to find on this art. And then, once I had inherited my family's fortune, I traveled and documented the development of architectural architectural th thought on different worlds until one day oh that accursed and blessed day until one day i came upon into possession of something quite special gordy pulls what looks to be like a book or an album with a homemade leather cover out of his bag both the pages and the binding look well worn here it is my undoing this is an authentic booklet titled Dewayne's Design. One of the thousands that were printed centuries ago in the times of Footfall's construction. What a curious read. Please tell us more. As Cassia takes a shy step forward, <laughs> Gordy smiles and shows her some of the faded pages. Footfall's founder, Lord Parsimius, uh, was obsessed with his gr creation's grand feature. This booklet describes in detail what Footfall was meant to become upon its completion. Do dozens of asteroids turned into glorious palaces and temples, massive bridges spanning over the void, spanning the void itself, and a mar marvelous flying buttresses. The archivolts of the exterior arches, the elegant arrangements of ballisters, okay, uh, and the interior, uh, polyfloras, uh, ten stories tall and more than a kilometer long, cycloplane, cycloplane, light tubes can catch the light of Holy fucking shit, this is hurting me. Fairy Bundus, and use it to brighten the halls in the heart of the asteroids. Sh 
stained glass windows and mosaics, base relief, reliefs, and statues. Engrossed in his own description, Gordy stands up and starts tracing the outline of arches and galleries with his hand. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, leave. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't mean to do that, bro. Not too many bother talking to me in the first place, let alone twice. Do you want to hear the rest of my story? Yes, keep listening. Fuck me. I didn't mean to do that, actually. Emerging from his reverie, he catches himself, blushes slightly, and loudly flops back into his seat. I apologize. I, I got carried away. But you must understand how deep the impression this booklet has left on me when I, my young self picked it up. I simply couldn't think about anything other than footfall. I was ready to give my life just to see the incredible station. And of course, no matter how hard my friends and loved ones tried to dissuade me, I still gathered all my savings and set out on a journey. It is no easy feat to cross two sectors, especially for a common citizen, albeit one who has the, some resources at his disposal. And I had to change one ship after another, at times being forced to stay on transfer worlds, waiting for a vessel headed in the right direction or for warp disturbances to subside. The voyage took me in a, a total of 107 years. Damn. In real space time, of course. Uh, for me, it was much less than that, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 35. Jesus Christ, my guy. It took 35 years to get here? Okay. And then, <laughs> after all those years, having spent all my savings, I reached my dream. And what did I see? A dump in a place of exquisite... <laughs> Portico. Uh, metal anthills clinging to the columns. The marble tiles pilfered by poppers to use as cladding for their hovels. Gordy hangs his head. It's been a dozen years since I came here, and I still haven't recovered from the shock. I had suspected that not everything from the booklet would exist in reality, but I never expected to see footfall in such a sorry state. It is like stumbling upon the horrible, decomposing corpse of your beautiful beloved. Argenta's gaze darkens. The warp, like a shameless thief, is guilty of stealing the short span allotted to his servants. But what sense is there in spending half your life on such an enterprise, only then to lose your spirit and to waste the remaining half on nothing at all? Damn. That's actually pretty profound. <laughs> uh, so then ink and paper, too, can lie and cause pain, Cassia sighs sadly. Does this mean not that all I have ever read about will one day disappoint me with the ugliness of reality? Okay, you need to calm down. <laughs> take a fucking... Take a... Well, I was going to say take a page out of Argita's book, but that's kind of what we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, that is tragic indeed. I wish this, I could see footfall in the way his creator envisioned. But you're an architectural historian. Is what happened on footfall not part of its history? A compelling cautionary tale if there were was a book on the folly of chasing wild fantasies, you would take up a whole chapter. <laughs> okay. Very rude. Uh, I'm thinking this one. It's part of its history. Gordy strokes his goatee, goatee in thought. Yes, Footfall's current appearance slums fused together with the remains of the majestic palaces as a unique phenomenon. It would be curious to observe if other places have taken after it, thereby solidifying it as a new style of architecture, or if it still remains as a local oddity. My word, you certainly know how to provide an unexpected perspective on things. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, be that as it may, I just wanted to say thank you for hearing me out. Over the dozen years I've spent on Footfall, not one person has hung around long enough to listen to my story to the end. It's such a delight to have shared everything that's been weighing on my mind. 
I'm so for the people, dude. Wil what, Wilbur is so for the people? You don't even know. I'm poor as a church mouse. <laughs> but I still have something to offer you as a token of my appreciation. After studying the booklet thoroughly, I discovered something interesting. A ci ciphered message scattered, <sighs> scattered throughout its pages. Taking the form of a riddle, it describes certain places of interest on Footfall. I believe it is the work of the booklet's creators. What if these riddles lead to something? A wondrous discovery? I will gladly share what I've been able to learn with you. Yo! Very cool. Riddles? A flash of burning, almost childish curiosity brightens Cassia's... Sure, whatever that... <laughs> A stern uh, countenance? Countenance? Uh, have you ever tried to make this wondrous discovery for yourself? Tell me about the places these riddles lead to. Have you ever tried to discover for yourself? Of course I have, but I'm an old man who is blind in one eye. I can barely move my legs and can barely move his legs. I never found anything, but that doesn't mean there's nothing to be found. All right, tell me about it. First location from the riddles isn't far from here. It's a bridge that was supposed to go through the center of the district and into the void toward neighboring asteroid. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, a couple of, uh, only a couple of its spans were built, and even those lie in ruins. Still, if the cache survived after all those years, it is still there somewhere. Okay, so we're looking for a bridge headed towards an asteroid. The destroyed bridge in the shadow quarters may contain a cache left behind by the builders of Footfall. The second location is the Lantern of the Great Cathedral. A lantern is a small tower on top of a dome. You've seen Footfall's atrium, haven't you? The whole atrium is just the nave of the former little cathedral. The Liege's entire so-called palace would have fit inside what was meant to be not but a single room. Jesus Christ. The Grand Great Cathedral, had had it been built, would have been even bigger. But alas, its construction was just getting underway when Dar Dwayne died, and the work stopped. The lantern from its dome, however, had already been built and survived. It was brought inside the atrium and dubbed the Chapel of Saint Derus the Warrior. Derusus. The fo Footfall's Great Cathedral was never built. The turret that would have been crowned. Okay. I'll read that later. <laughs> and that's all I know. I wish you luck on your search. I must take my leave. Good luck to you. Very cool. So, next on our me. list. So, we're going to go talk to this guy over here, I think. Hello, Riza. Riza. I'm gonna call him Rizza because that's funnier in today's context. Uh, the, the woman looks to be in her 40s and she is surveying you with interest. Her right eye appears almost black against her du dusky skin, while her left eye emits a greenish light filtered through the smudge smudged lens of a prosthetic. A prosthesis. Uh, her arms are tattooed all the way from the base of her shoulders to her knuckles. Oh, look at that. She's got a portrait. Looking for something specific? You're buying may, or maybe selling? Don't be shy. Just ask. Old Riza knows <laughs> all kinds of folks. My boys will fetch you anything your heart desires. Let's see what you have to offer. All right. Fellowship of the Void. That's not good. Uh, what can I trade? 2,000? That'll get me to the next thing. Can I? That's only level 2. This is level 4 this unlocks. Eh, might as well. We're almost to level 2. We will be taking all this, though. Oh, bayonet knife. 
Oh, that's a equipable? Weird. When the wielders attacks with any ranged weapon at a one cell range, then attacks also inflict bleeding. Now, hold on. <laughs> Any ranged weapon at a one cell range. Does that include the shotgun? Can I put that on Argenta? Get her right next to a motherfucker. Blast him away and apply bleed. Very interesting. Serrated greatsword. Very cool. 13 to 20. We'll see how uh, that compares to what's his dicks, uh, Abelard, that's his name. Intoxicating elixir. The user gains plus 15 to strength, plus 15 to weapon skill, and minus 20 to willpower for two turns. I'll take all those. I'll take the med kits for sure. Navy's swashbuckling coat. This coat grants the wearer 10% parry reduction and 5% armor penetration for melee attacks. Ooh. That could be also good for Abelard. Needle pistol. 13 to 20? Holy shit, for a pistol? What does that say? Slows enemies and inflicts plus one stack of the fatigued effect. What is the fatigued effect? Each stack inflicts a 10, minus 10 penalty to any strength toughness or agility test and minus one movement point. Wow. Dodge reduction of 32. Interesting. That's cool. Tactical backpack. Foe hammer. That's cool. Rending shotgun. A pistol shotgun? A one-handed pistol shotgun? Cool. Modified splinter pistol? Drukari weapon? Toxic burst? 8 to 12. Very cool. A big old shotgun. Cool. Earthbreaker. 16 to 23. That's insane. And carnage. Nice. Okay. Just wanted to check out the weapons there. That seems pretty cool. Okay. So that's cool. Let me go my inventory. Check out. What does this do? 13 to 20. Where is the serrated greatsword? Uh, unfortunate. Um, let's actually see. It has five more percent armor penetration but this one on a critical hit this sword inflicts plus one stack of laceration effect for each stack of laceration all attacks of this sword against the same target do an additional 10 percent damage most warriors prefer swords provide more flexibility on battle yeah, yeah, yeah that's regular shit so this if i multi-attack deals 10 percent more damage or does this have 5% armor penetration? I think I'm gonna take this. And that looks fucking sick. What the hell? That's awesome. Okay. Um, and then I also had the swashbuckling thing. Oh, this is the one where it go he goes unconscious. A stasis field immediately recovers toughness bonus wounds instead. Where it loses all MP but gains 30% dodge for one round. Uh, I think I'll keep the uh, emergency ejector. Yeah. All right, let's talk to her again. Welcome back. Riza raises her a glass to you, smiles, and winks with her prosthetic eye. How? Okay. <laughs> uh, who are these boys you work with? Rizza lowers her booming, raspy voice. You heard about how the Clipper Saint Cognitus uh, got hit recently? The cargo was cleaned out, everything of value taken. Well, 
That was my boy's handiwork. Very cool. We call ourselves the Fellowship of the Void, an association of enterprising, like-minded people who help the upstanding citizens of the Imperium rid themselves of the possessions they that are weighing them down. That's a excellent way to write that on a resume. <laughs> that is so clean. <laughs> Uh, you notice Avalard's face twist in disgust. It would seem he has a rather strong opinion about the individuals who, to whom Riza, I keep wanting to say Riza, dude. I'm sticking with Riza. Uh, refers to as the F Fellowship of the Void. Terribly noble of you. Is that so? I'd like to return to our discussion. Pirates, in other words. <laughs> Riza plasters a shocked expression on her on her face. Please, no need to be so crude. Your esteemed self, no doubt, is aware of that harmonious. Heron, her, I am fucking that up every goddamn time. Preaches that asceticism is a virtue, and the only one by rejecting material wealth can be. Can we as? And only by rejecting material wealth can we ascend in faith. Well, I couldn't agree more. We are merely helping the servants of the Imperium to be a little more like him. And taking a small commission for our troubles. What kinds of goods are you willing to buy? Tech is always best. If it's broke, no sweat. We'll fix it and take it apart. Or take it apart. And if you score something so nasty that your fussy everyday traders won't even look at, fear not, just bring it over here, leave it to me and the boys and my boys to find the right buyer. The handling of sacred technology by laypersons uninitiated in the Omnissiah's priesthood is a category eight blasphemy incriminating evidence of profane acts perpetrated by the unit named old riza <laughs> has been recorded for use in future judicial proceedings very funny you goddamn snitch <laughs> she chuckles darkly do you mean to threaten me tech priest well then I'll keep a record of this conversation too I wonder which of us will feel the harsh hand of justice first Will it be me standing in chains before your brethren or you standing in an airlock before my boys? Yikes. Okay, shut up, Pascal. Jesus. Grandpa Bakavel says hello. Who? You let the pirates leave Riked philia alive or am i retarded i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember i'll have to look that up uh rizza's face breaks into a broad smile the old rascal that old rascal i thought he'd croaked in the mines a long time ago okay he was on the prison planet he was the fucking guy that confronted us and and killed the 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 other dudes that were just like hey uh we're cool <laughs> i think that's him that old man in the prison uh but that old man bakava's still alive and kicking you say me and him have been through a lot of interesting scrapes together and oh, oh all the weird and wonderful things we've stopped acquired uh, stolen or acquired uh bakava Backval, Backval, uh, wouldn't send his regards along with just anyone. You must have done him a good turn, and because of that, old Riz's <laughs> going to give you a special discount. You have lost a five profit factor discount on items from the Fellowship of the Void faction. That makes it seem bad. You have lost a five profit factor discount. It should say I've gained a five profit factor discount. It's weird. Ah, look, all the prices are slashed. Very cool. Very cool. 
So what can I actually get from here if I get there? I could get to level 7 and get this Staff of Endless Flame. Ooh, that's cool. But I need Pyromancy. The wielder of the staff, power level 7, gains the Inferno ability. The ability is also available to in its Heroic Tax and Desperate Measures versions. Power level affects the damage of the power of this power. Is 7 good? <laughs> <laughs> what is Adiris? I don't know. Or Cassius. Well, Cassius has navigator shit, so I don't think she actually does anything. This auto pistol, 6 to 10. Not bad. Solid projectile weapons have over increased over penetration and the same thing twice. Very cool. So if I had enough shit to sell and I got a discount on minus 5, that's awesome. I love that that's just straight up nice doing business with me. Okay, cool. Well, that's very good. Oh, goods. Get over there, Pascal. I know you just tried to snitch on them, but maybe they'll give you some shit. Yeah, we're just going to take that. That's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Anything else on this map? I don't think so. Nope, there's two things I missed. Let me take a look here. Uh-huh. Let's all go together, shall we? Now we're going to wait for them to mosey on down over here. It looks like they're splitting up. And I triggered a cutscene. Sick. Rough day. You have no idea. I just might. That's the second bottle you've downed. Jai Hidari. Falco sends his regards. And what does that unholy scion of a Grox and a Brahan want from me this time? Oh, wait, I don't really care. My sole plans for tonight are drowning my grief in a sea of Amasak. Amasak. Who will give you grief, all right? Get out! Jesus Christ! <sighs> don't think so, Ashmag. That was pretty good. <laughs> and tell Falco to come himself next time. Damn, get turned on. I'm tired of your mess. Ow! Get some sleep. We'll talk about settling up later. Octi Sherin, light of my eyes. Can't you see my soul is full of sadness? Have you no horse at all? Let go of your material concerns and let me grieve in peace. You Have just we killed two men. Before? The woman looks at you with the glassy eyes of a drunk, and you notice the two empty bottles that have been keeping her company before you arrived. She looks completely out of place in all in this dingy, smoky bar. Also, I want to point out that I avoided this cutscene <laughs> last time very expertly, I might add. Uh, the fancy attire, the abundance of jewelry, the implants planted with precise or precious metals. Her appearance not only screams wealth, but also audacity. For only an audacious person would flaunt their wealth in a place like this. Greetings, Sherin. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? You not fucking know me, dude? <laughs> she smiles some somewhat groggily as she examines you over the glass that raise is raised to her lips. I am rogue trader Wilbur von Valencius. <clears throat> von Valencius? My deepest, humblest regards, your lordship. I never would have imagined I'd be standing at the bar, in the Amasekus, next to an honest-to-god emperor rogue trader. Well, I'm glad she shaped up real quick. <laughs> The woman, after taking a uh, sip from her glass, chokes and quickly clears her throat. Wilbur! Wilbur! She didn't say that, so I, I threw it in there. Jai Heidari at your service. Professional trader, shrewd commercial broker, and, may ash he steal my tongue if I'm lying, the most honest dealer on footfall. Nonetheless, we all have our problems, and at times even one's many merits aren't enough to solve them. Perhaps it would be no trouble for a person with your kind of power and standing to assist someone with my kind of predicament. Hmm, predicament. Continue. I have heard a great deal about how uh, 
open-minded the members of the Fon Falancius dynasty are, and Lady Theodora especially. Watch it. You don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> what do you need help with? What kind of cargo was stolen from you? Not interested. What do you need help with? You see, Sherine, there's one cardinal rule on football. Anything goes as long as it doesn't get in the way of business. I'm someone who's been able to exploit that rule to the fullest. And in recent years, I've hit it so big, I've become a speck of sand in someone's green eye. They used to throw small wrenches into my dealings here and there. Well, now they've decided to really put their backs into it. Some rats stole my cargo and dragged it off to the seediest part of the Shadow Quarters. A crummy place even for connoisseurs of Footfall's unique atmosphere. Okay. I'm assuming it says Falco guy. When I asked the leech for protection, we had a mutual misunderstanding. I believe Vladayam, in a most lamentable fashion, has forgotten his duties as guardian of the downtrodden and wronged. Vladayam. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. And you, Sherin, fit the bill perfectly. All I need is for you to drop by one dark corner of Footfall Shadow Quarters and pound it into the thieves' heads that taking Heydari's property carries certain risks. Okay. 62 experience. Commerce test succeeded. Jay appears to be a serious operator in Footfall. The Liege's refusal to help means that uh, means the loss of a potential ally. So Jay is encroaching on his turf. If Vladime is not responsible for the disappearance of Jay's cargo, he will certainly benefit greatly from it. I just suspect... I suspect that he wants to keep the cargo out of your hands, and I want to put him in his place. Uh, if the Liege is negligent, neglecting his duties, I shall become your patron. Not interested. I wish to ask you a few questions before I decide. Uh, I suspect he wants to keep the carbo out of your hands. May the exalted one bless you and your progeny. Then here's what we'll do. We shouldn't be seen together before we make it to the safe house. I'll head there first. I'll take my own special route so I won't be spotted. Okay. Right. Here, that's where those ash mags are keeping the stolen cargo. Out the bar, over the bridge, and to the left. There, in the depths, you'll find a small courtyard through which you can get to the place. I'll be waiting nearby. You can come when it suits you, but the sooner you do, the better. I'll see you then, Sherin. Are you talking about the goddamn place that I went into and looted the entire thing and there was nothing to do there with that big smelly box? You remember the big smelly box? Interesting. Okay. Well... Let's talk to Octavia here. The burly woman with the wealth of fiery hair is in the process of tinkering with some unknown device that is clicking melodiously. Melodiously? Uh, she has a rough looking implant in place of her lower jaw. As you approach, the implant begins to move as if independently from the rest of her face. Welcome to the Adeptus Massac Massacus, <laughs> sir. <laughs> what can Octavian get you? Anasek? Low? Something more interesting? Octavian uh, freezes in place. It can't be. Are you Sister Argenta? The Sister Argenta? The one who has the worst scum on footfall shaking in their boots? The whole station is talking about you. And here you are in the flesh in our humble Emma Sekis. I love her portrait. Very cool. Argenta stops <laughs> her torrent of <laughs> adoration with a calm gesture. No more, I seek retribution against transgressors, not glory for myself. Despite her words, you catch a glint in Argenta's eyes. Uh, you can tell she is enjoying this enraptured attention. What is this place? You're in the oldest watering hole in Footfall, sir. The Adeptus of Masochus is the only Adeptus uh, one can find on Footfall. She laughs hoarsely. I'm Octavian there. Octaviana? I serve drinks, lend an ear, and if it comes down to it, 
quiet the rowdy ones. She seizes you carefully. Sizes you carefully. Folks usually come for the Emescus, uh, for either pleasure or business. Might I ask what brought you here? I have business here. I was just curious about the place. Uh, it's one thing after another lately. I figured I <laughs> was due for some time. Give me a splash of lo local hooch, would ya? It's none of your concern. Hmm. I was just curious about the place. What well, sure is nice to know that this dive piques the entrance of people other than thugs and boozers. Then again, the place is like a grox. The outhouse is horrible to look at, but the inside outside's horrible outhouse. <laughs> outside's horrible to look at, but the insides are remarkably useful if you know what you're doing. Octaviana uh, leans forward. Sitting at the bar often puts folks in a talkative mood, and I don't see anyone paying me to keep quiet. Visits from eminent individuals like yourself boost the status of my establishment so I can repay you by sharing what I've overheard. Some of it might help you out in your dealings. About the woman that started the gunfight in the bar. Why are you so interested? You looking into her or something? Octaviana catches herself upon meeting your gaze and bows her head low. Apologies, sir. Me and my big mouth. Me, me and my big, big metal mouth. Uh, <laughs> I guess this is why they broke my jaw so many times. She touches her implant. Oh, fuck. Very funny. Uh, drops her voice. Jay, you know, Jay's pretty great. She made a name for herself here on Footfall. She's a woman who came from nothing she follows an unwritten rule of this place she doesn't walk all over the weaker folks and she drinks like a fish to boot there's a lot there's lots to respect the sad thing is it looks like she's got on the wrong side of vladam uh and since both of them well i guess all three of us have ties to the Casabelica, a mission right uh there's no way out of this. Jay should get off footfall while she still can. Better to lose her business than her life. What an odd name, the Adeptus America. Amasicus? Amasicus? Not very reverent. She chuckles. What makes you say that? <laughs> Do you know where you're standing? On the deck of the martyr... Martyr's Endurance, a sacred vessel that once belonged to the Adeptus Administratum. A hundred years ago, the bureaucrats sent a mission here to establish a department, set up some kind of record-keeping overhaul footfall, and make everything here follow a billion laws to the letter. As you can see, it was the Martyr's Endurance uh, and its inhabitants that got overhauled in the end. I don't know what happened to them, but the locals like to come here to make deals and count their money like before in this temple of the Imperium's accountants. Over there, you can see even the sign has been preserved. Partially. A great place. The new name fits perfectly. I don't know how a place like this could appear in the Emperor's Light. It's a dive like any other. No better, no worse than the rest. That's a great place. You like it? I'm flattered. It's not often that we get import important visitors here. And it's even less uh, less often that they really appreciate this place. How are things on here on footfall? Haven't you been to our fine haven't you been on our fine station for a while? Have you Jesus Christ, I just fucked that line so hard. Haven't been to our fine station for a while, have you, sir? As per usual, there's never a dull moment. Either someone's getting a shot in the <laughs> either someone's getting shot in a square, or some rich guy is going on a safari hunt to hunt commoners in the shadow quarters. Sure, the liege makes sure that the local shenanigans don't get in the way of business on the station, but what happens on the outskirts adds a little spice to our lives. We make do, but the real trouble is. 
With every passing day, it gets harder to find grub. I heard that some horror story... I heard that some horrors are happening in the void outside for abundance. Uh, <laughs> that not all ships are making it here and the Liege's old patrons don't seem to be in a hurry to help. It's taking a total on, on Vladame's authority. And if his authority law wobbles too hard, uh, he'll have plenty of people lining up to take his place. Well, I kind of just solved that pretty much. So don't worry. Give me the latest. This one might interest you. A tale I've heard from the tipsy Voidborn from the cargo barge. They exited the warp halfway between Feribundus <laughs> and an Evorius system. Uh, and came upon a shuttle wrecked adrift. The shuttle was registered to the... Uh, Inv inevitable triumph a merchant ship that disappeared decades ago she was bound for footfall her cargo holds brimming with valuable goods but she never made it if anything at all survived the shipwreck it could be quite the lucky find interesting decades ago a ship called the inevitable triumph went missing off on a course for footfall shuttles, been discovered, blah, blah, blah. Here's another tidbit for you. Some poor sot was here bawling about how his crew tossed out a whole shipment of cargo along with the trash, and it was his fault somehow. He hid the fact that once they docked at footfall, he immediately went on the run. No surprise there. He Had they discovered his blunder, he would have been executed. I don't know what sort of cargo it was, but the ship he served on usually goes between Footfall and the Winter Scales realm. She passes a hundred dreams crossroads in Lagranin Langren's belt. If you happen to be in the area, you might want to look for whatever that idiot chucked overboard. Next. Careless officer sent valuable piece of cargo and rose shoot. Cool. That will do for now. Been one thing after another. Give me some hooch. She looks at you closely, then takes a bottle from the shelf and uncorks it. The transparent, pungent smelling liquid quickly fills the glass that sits between you. Continue. Very cool. Pascal's repositories hurt, hiss quietly and says in an insinuating tone, the alchemical composition of the substance is known to me. But never before have I come across such an unusual application. An exquisite path of martyrdom in the honor of the Omnissiah. Let's take a good look here. Let me see. I got 100% there. I got a 90% there. I'm not drinking this. Dump the liquid out. Imperium Lord, take a good look at it. Very cool. The glass contains a liquid that is clearly made from spent Prometheum. This is moonshine, virtually unfiltered, that quickly blows the drinker off their feet and when imbibed uh, regularly, turns their liver into a bubbling sponge. It's your sure attempt to poison me. Got anything better? What is a swill? Give me a decent drink. Drink it. I'm not drinking this. Uh, let's fucking drink it. Hey, let's go. Liquid burns your tongue, then your throat, then your stomach. It takes your breath away, but after a few seconds, warmth spreads throughout your body, and your head feels a little lighter than usual. She clicks her tongue in approval. Continue. That's the second time I've seen a noble drink that octane blend without wincing, and I won't offer you any more. But I won't offer you any more. I've got just the things set aside for such an occasion. I knew that would impress her. <laughs> uh, she grabs a dusty, unopened bottle from under the bar and cleans a glass. The amber liquid splashes against the crystal walls as she adds it in a couple of black pebbles. The soft, spicy aroma tickles your nostrils. You said I'm the second person to drink that octane blend without wincing? 
The first was Caglios Winterscale. That's right, the head of the house Winterscale himself used to come here often, impressive guy. True, whenever he and his officers came through the door, the locals would have, find themselves a hole to hide in. Drinks weren't the only thing his lordship liked knocking back. If someone so much as looked at him funny, he'd paint the walls red. Let's drink some more. The amnesiac, uh, Emesec, sorry. The Emesec warms your throat pleasantly. You can make out a hint of spice and flavor of an oak barrel and a distant earthy aroma. You feel a little more at peace and you reach the bottom of the glass sooner than you'd like. Also, I just realized that, um, <laughs> funnily enough, we're all like, yeah, we're going to go help you take back your cargo and then see your just drink for fucking half an hour. <laughs> Oops. Um, <laughs> give me something stronger. Uh, she shows you an empty bottle and makes a helpless gesture. I'm sorry, sir. This is the last bottle of that year. What can I say? We're all feeling burnt on footfalls. Shipment problems. I'll be going. She bows her head slightly. Until next time, sir. Cool, and now I'm all wobbly. Nah, I'm fine. Do I have any debuffs? No. Do I need buffs? No. Interesting. Uh, where was this here? Aha! Get that, get some stuff. Very good. Now we're going to whoop, travel over here. We're all gonna go right here, and I'm gonna click this right here. And we're gonna wait. Excellent. Everybody's running their ass off raw. And Wilbur's gonna get some more shit. Very cool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I won't tolerate weakness. Alright. Let's go back to the shadow quarters here. I was about to say. Ah. Okay, we got the atrium. Got the Lord's uh, Liege's residence. The void ship dock. Shadow quarters. Oh, and then the, the Martyrs thing is another place we can fast travel to. Cool. So back in the Shadow Quarter, Footfall Shadow Quarters, we go left, I want to say, to that. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a notification on my phone that says someone liked my video on TikTok and his name was Fat Wizard. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> I like to, I like to, uh, I can see everyone that likes my videos, their names, and it's fucking hilarious. I take screenshots of them all the time. I have a whole fucking folder in my phone of just screenshots of funny TikTok names, and they're awesome. Um, anyway, besides that, it's this I'll way, right? To the stars. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Goods. Note from the bridge cache. Oh, this is it. Crumbled note only has this small fragment of text left. You're on the right path, Seeker. The other caches. Hmm. Intriguing. Now. Okay, I don't see anything else. Okay. Let's try this Follow warehouse. My lead. We're going in. Um, I don't know if it starts a fight, I might leave it for next episode. I don't know yet. It'll probably start a fight. What's this? Container is sealed shut on all sides. You notice the remnants of metallic tags have been cut. Ah, there's Jay. There's Jay's assistant. Poor Tor, Jay's assistant. Okay, this definitely looks like a fucking thing. I knew this was too much cover to not have anything happen. You fuck. And also smelly box right here that she probably wants back. For now, we've already cleared it out, but I am actually gonna call it there because uh, we're running long, but that's fine, it always does. Next time, we're going to be talking to Jay, getting her shit back, hopefully. Probably starting off with some combat. Very good. And I will 
Try to get an angle on my boys. I'll see you in the next one.